What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I've got 10 packs of first edition Dimension of Chaos. Now this set is really cool in my opinion. It's the last set, uh, I believe, the last set that had um, ghost rares that came in it and um, one of the last sets to introduce, you know, ultimate, or not introduce, but to have ultimate rares as well. So this set is pretty cool and uh, Core TCG had a really nice uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale and these were $2 a pack. So I bought a bunch of them, more than just 10, and um, I'll open them kind of sporadically just whenever I feel like opening something because this set's pretty sweet and you can actually get some cool stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and try to get that, uh, what is it, Scarlet Red Dragon Arch Fiend? Something like that, the Ghost Rare. Um, this set introduced the Magic Specters, I believe. So we got that Magic Specter Fox. These. They are so spammy and annoying. If you've ever played against Magic Specters, they're pretty annoying. Super Soldier Soul. DDD Oblivion King Abyss uh, Ragnarok. That's a mouthful. So nothing in that set. Oh, these also are one of the last sets to um, not have a hollow in every pack, which I am a big fan of because it makes it more fun when you pull a super rare. So we got another Magic Specter, the Fox. Super Soldier Rebirth. Oh yeah, the Black Luster Soldier, um, Super Soldier, I think is in here. Uh, contract Change, Assault Blackwing, Kunai, the Drizzle. Grand Horn of Heaven, that's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, Gradles also, I believe those were introduced in here. Who doesn't love Gradles? They, uh, they never were like super competitive, but they're kind of cool. I mean, these still your opponent's monsters. That's always fun. Ignite Veteran and a Rank Up Magic Raid Force. Oh, and a Magic Specter uh, Raccoon Bonboku. Okay, so that would have been uh, a really good pull back in the day. Uh, back in the day, like this was so long ago. Uh, I think this was released in 2015 or early 2016. So that's cool. We finally got a Hollow and it is an Ultra Rare. Um, this was one of the most expensive cards when this set came out because Magic Specters were pretty big back then. So. Moving on, um, the ultimates out here are really sweet, so I'd love to pull an ultimate. I bought plenty of packs I should get an ultimate, but you just never know. Uh, oh yeah, game sale, the um, sea turtle kaiju, so there's kaijus in here, and oh, get out! No way! Oh, that's just insane. I was just talking about this card. Dude, that is so cool. I mean, it's, it's not like the most expensive card in the world, but pulling a ghost rare is just one of the coolest things. You just It's so hard to do. I don't know what the ratio is. Um, I'm sure someone out there knows it, but what a pack. You got the Game of Seal and the Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Good Lord. That was just an epic, epic pack. Because these alone are like three bucks, um, just for pretty expensive for a rare. Wow. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. That, I just, I thought it was a secret rare at first. I saw the letters and I was like, oh, we got a secret. But uh, that's a lot better. <laughs> that's a ghost rare. That's cool. I don't pull a lot of ghost rares, but then I don't open a whole lot of new stuff. And obviously ghost rares are in the new stuff. Gradle Slime. It's a nice rare. Um, so these packs, the ratios are probably going to be all over the place because I want to say these were like sneak peek packs that they just never sold. And sneak peek packs don't have a set ratio. Usually they're just kind of, you can get, you know, a whole bunch of great pulls or nothing. And I've experienced both in my life. Super Soldier Soul. Performer Pal, uh, Splash Mammoth. Yep, there. Some Gradle stuff, though. Um, I think the Gradles are weird, but I like the archetype. The Magic Specters were cool, but they were just so spammy. Like, uh, so annoying. And then their counter traps are just awful. Um, oh, another Kaiju we got red in. The Multidimensional Kaiju. So I think there's that. There's also um, the Sticky String one, I think, is in here. So that's at least three kaijus, um, and they're just, they're good for getting rid of your opponent's boss monsters, and I mean, I've seen kaiju decks, actually back when this set was released, people were running kaiju decks based mostly on kaijus. Uh, Perform Pal Help Princess, of course they would run like a different engine with the kaiju. Um, I think now kaijus are mostly just side decked, um, occasionally main decked, just to get rid of your opponent's big boss monster that's hard to deal with. Pendulum Area. Oh, and we got a super rare. Beginning Night. Oh, that's cool. That kind of um, supports that Black Luster card. So that's pretty awesome. 
I did pull, I think I've, yeah, I pulled the ultimate rare Black Luster Soldier out of here. Um, I think I got it in my sneak peek. I don't, I don't think I bought a box of this, but um, I could be wrong. DDD Wave King Caesar. Another Magispector. That, oh, it's, I was going to say that looks a lot like Yadagarasu. Obviously, I should probably read the title first. That's pretty cool. What's its effect? When this card is normal special summon, you can add one Magispector spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Magispector Crow Yada once per turn. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effect. So it really has nothing to do with Yadagrasu, but um, it's, you know, it's a Magispector card. So that was a really good 10 packs. Um, sorry, I kind of blazed through those. Uh, the commons out here aren't too great. I think that there might be one or two that are decent today. Um, they're kind of outdated. But there's some really good rares and, of course, a lot of good hollows in this set. So we actually got some pretty good pulls. We got this Radian or Radian. I don't know how you say that. Um, that Kaiju. And then we got the Game Seal or Ga Gamma Seal Kaiju. And uh, that's probably it for good rares. And then the hollows. My goodness. We got the Beginning Knight, the Smagic Spectre, Bomboku, and then the Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare. This makes me want to uh, collect Ghost Rares again. So... Pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.